Hello again everyone, it's Mrs Bryson and I'm back in the reading den to read you all a story. I hope you enjoy it. This is by one of my favourite authors, he's called Oliver Jeffers and this book is called Lost and Found. Now I bought this book, um, I get most of my books at home from the library but occasionally we do buy some and I bought this one when I read this writing about it on the back. Can you remember what this writing on the back of a book is called? It's the blurb and it gives you a bit of a clue about what the book is about. This one's quite short and it just says, once there was a boy and one day he found a penguin at his door. And it doesn't tell you anything else and that really hooked me in. I really wanted to find out why a boy found a penguin at his door and what happened next. So here we go. Let's find out. Lost and found. Once there was a boy and one day he found a penguin at his door. The boy didn't know where it had come from, but it began to follow him everywhere. The penguin looked sad and the boy thought it must be lost. So the boy decided to help the penguin find its way home. He checked in the lost and found office, but no one was missing a penguin. He asked some birds if they knew where the penguin came from, but they ignored him. Some birds are like that. The boy asked his duck, but the duck floated away. He didn't know. That night, the boy couldn't sleep for disappointment. He wanted to help the penguin, but he didn't know how. The next morning, he discovered that penguins come from the South Pole. But how could he get there? He ran down to the harbour and asked a big ship to take them to the South Pole. But his voice was much too small to be heard over the ship's horn. Look at the size of that ship, everyone. That's huge, isn't it? And look, the tiny, tiny little figure there is the boy. And there's the penguin. That is an enormous ship, isn't it? So together, he and the penguin would row to the South Pole. The boy took his rowboat out of the cupboard and they tested it for size and strength. They packed everything they would need. And together, they pushed the rowboat out to sea. They rowed south for many days and nights, with the boy telling stories all the way. The penguin listened to everything that the boy said. I like that because even when you're on a long, long, long journey somewhere, stories make it much more exciting, don't they? Here they are rowing across the vast ocean. They floated through good weather and bad where the waves were as big as mountains. until they came to the South Pole. There's even a sign at the South Pole saying, Welcome to the South Pole. The boy was delighted, but the penguin said nothing. Suddenly it looked sad again as the boy helped it out of the boat. 
The boy said goodbye and floated away. But as he looked back, the penguin looked sadder than ever. It felt strange to be on his own. And the more he thought, the more he realised he was making a big mistake. The penguin wasn't lost. He was just lonely. Quickly, he turned the boat around and headed back to the South Pole as fast as he could. Here he is, he's turned his boat around and he's heading back to the South Pole. But who's coming out the other way from the other side of the iceberg? Oh, they haven't seen each other, have they? At last, the boy reached the pole again. But where was the penguin? The boy searched and searched, but the penguin was nowhere to be found. Sadly, the boy set off again for home. There was no point telling stories because there was no one to listen to them, except the wind and the waves. But then... The boy saw something in the water ahead of him. Closer and closer he got until he could see. The penguin. That is a, uh, oh, look, there's one more page. <laughs> And so the boy and his friend went home together, talking of wonderful things all the way. There we go. I nearly missed the last page then, didn't I, everyone? Sorry about that. <laughs> that is a really nice tale of friendship, isn't it? And even in the most unlikely places, you can find a wonderful friend. Okay, everyone, I hope you're getting on okay at home. I hope you're all keeping safe and well, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.